Hello, you're listening to Mona Simone, aka Sage the Brain, hashtag Freddie's Daughter, hashtag Madam Sir. Please support your content creators. You can support Mona Simone via Cash App at dollar sign Mona Simone. That's dollar sign M O N A S Y M O N E. Support your content creators. Support them all. Support them one by one. My dearest Ashley, I have enjoyed getting to know you, your passions, your thoughts, the way that you think, your willingness to think critically, to stand against the fray, the naysayers, the bandwagon jumpers, and and I just love the person that you are and the person that you've been in my life thus far. I appreciate everything that you've done for me in fairness because you didn't exactly do it for me. You did it because you felt it was the right thing to do. I can't help but to pay attention to the climate and the things that are happening, the things that have happened to other supporters of mine that will undoubtedly happen to you too. This is not a goodbye. This is not a... This is not anything negative. This is me just telling you in this moment that I love you, my sister. And I hope that in the months and the weeks to come that you remain strong, that you remain resilient, that you remain diligent in your fight for social justice, not just as it pertains to cyberbullying and what happened against me, but in general and all in our community. I think it's a shame uh, what's happened to me, even taking this myself out of the equation, watching this from the outside in, from up above, I am utterly disgusted as a human being. These people on social media have attacked me, each for their own reasons, whether it be jealousy, envy, uh, whether they felt some type of personal way about my confidence, whether they see it as arrogance or for whatever reason, these people have decided that Mona Simone is not the one that they love at this time. However, I'm able to remain strong because I know my future and my path and I've seen a peek at it. And I know that the universe is preparing me for what is to come. The universe is making me stronger. The universe is showing me that at some times, I may have to go this path, this journey. (laughs) My fight is my own. And I appreciate everyone that stands up for me, that stands up for what's right, that stands up for things that sound so true, but are so wrong and can't stand up against the scrutiny of critical thinking and legitimate thought, truth, and honesty. See, what happened before to my subscribers is that the people that were jealous of me and decided to attack me, they attacked them also. They threatened to dox them. They ostracized them. They blocked them from their chats. They did everything they could to make them feel unwanted. And this one platform wasn't enough to make them feel like they had a family. They wanted to be involved in all the chats. They wanted to communicate with all the people. So whether it be cowardice or whatever it was, they decided that at the end of the day, it was just too much to support Mona Simone. It was too much to support what was right. It was too much to continue to stand for what was right. They gave in and they gave up. I can assure you and everyone else that I will never give up. You all have awakened the beast in me that will not stop because I don't need a fan base, a crowd, a million subscribers to stand in my shit and stand for what's right. What you all have done to others is absolutely disgusting. I have the emails to prove the fear that some of these people have had and the cries that they've shared with me. 
and the stories about the fear that if they continue to ride with me, that they will be attacked by you all. And now I see you doing it to Ashley. I see you trying to control her Mimi, a little shade, Uh, and the rest of you, you fake conscious folks, the wig. You come for this woman, you attack her, you attack her credibility, you try to undermine and and, and demean her by insisting that she's a do girl for me, that she's a flying monkey for me. I have never, told Ashley to do anything in my favor. I've never told her to go in a store. I've never told her to record a video. I didn't tell her to do the interview with Michelle. None of that. Ashley did that because Ashley is a woman of passion and a woman of what's right. And what you're trying to do to her is downright disgusting. I don't know how you people sleep at night. If you don't like me, that's fine. But none of you have any reason whatsoever to hate me. I've never done anything to you guys unprovoked. My own fight with my mental health is my own. If you hate me for that, let's keep it all the way a buck. Realize that you're hating a girl and attacking a girl that tried to end her life because of the stressors in her life. Because she felt she would be better off. Because she felt like there was nothing else in that moment aside from the love that I had for my family. And and that love led me to want to take my life because I felt as though I was a burden on them. And while that might be a bit twisted, and I don't deny that I have some mental inconsistencies, when it comes to major depression and anxiety and obsessive compulsive disorders. That's the way I saw it at the time. And it just absolutely breaks my heart that even as black women, we will stand in judgment of another black woman as if we have done nothing wrong, as if we are perfection incarnate, as if we never smell raw a day in our life. And you attack this friend of mine when all she's doing is trying to wake you guys up for the truth. You deny the truth. In the face of truth and evidence, you spat. And I don't like what you're doing to her. And Ashley, this is coming from a place of nothing but love. But it is breaking my heart to watch you be attacked from me. I don't know if I can take this anymore. Our friendship will continue, no doubt. We have made a connection. You have a lifelong sister in me. But as far as this YouTube shit goes, Ash, I don't want to see you affected by it. I want you to let it go. Me. Because these people are disgusting. And I can handle it. I've been doing this for over 20 years online. I know how it goes. But it is breaking my heart to stand by and watch you be attacked and insulted and berated and tried to control and played with and toyed with. And I I just don't want to see that happen to you. I don't want to see happen to you what has happened to the rest of the people and even some good people that followed me that just wanted to get a little bit of education and empowerment against these evil, evil people, Diane included, Tracy included. See, people don't see them for who they are. It's going to take a while for some people to wake up undoubtedly. Because we find comfort in the lies. We find comfort in the make-believe. We find comfort in being fooled and taken advantage of and pretending that we're doing something pious for the kids, for the babies. Meanwhile, their mothers are full of shit. And those babies have help. But their mothers are lying for personal gain. Ashley, it's okay with me if you stop. 
you owe me nothing. You know, I've never asked for you to do anything for me and I've been eternally grateful. I don't want to see you hurt like they've hurt the others. And I don't think I had the heart to tell you this to your face. But it's okay with me if you stop doing videos about my situation. I'll be okay. I can stand on my own. And in the end, I feel I will be vindicated because I came here with love and light. I have not attacked anyone unprovoked. I have been relentlessly attacked for no reason, for clicks and views, because people wanted popularity, because it was easier to hate than to love. They didn't have the courage to stand against the naysayers. They didn't have the courage not to jump on the bandwagon. And I know you're different, Ashley. I know you're different, but you don't deserve what these people will do to you, what they've tried to do to me. Now, if you continue to stand with me, all I can say is that I will keep you close and I will hold you down. And like I've never hurt anyone else, I will never hurt you. And I will defend you to my core. But if at any time this becomes too much, it's okay, my sister, to buy out gracefully. Because good will win in the end. And I am good, and I am light, and I know that I am right. Thank you, and thank everyone else that have supported me, that continue to support me, despite the mountain that we're up against of people that are wrong, that are nasty, that are disrespectful. I won't give up this fight. Even if in the end, I'm left standing alone with bullet holes and, and sliced up from cuts, I will stand and the phoenix will rise. I love you, Ashley. Do what's best for you to protect you, to protect your mental stability, to protect your heart to protect your platform, your brand. There have been so many people that have disappointed me, that have let me down, that didn't have the strength to stand for what was right. That in my 11th hour, when I tried to end my life, they walked out on me. And you and I know that that's true. It doesn't matter what these people believe at the end of the day. But at the end of the day, I will see to it that justice is served. At the end of the day, this is my battle. It's not yours, babe. I love you. Love and light. Peace.